We fly safe planes. We don't put airplanes in the air that we don't have 100% confidence in. I'm here today in the spirit of transparency to, number one, recognize the seriousness of what you just asked. Number two, to share everything I can with our Capitol Hill interests um, and answer all their questions because they have a lot of them. That was Boeing CEO Dave Calhoun in the hot seat on Capitol Hill this week, being grilled by lawmakers concerned over recent mechanical failures of Boeing planes. Earlier this month, the Federal Aviation Administration grounded Boeing's 737 MAX 9 jets after a fuselage panel broke off an Alaska Airlines plane six minutes into the flight. And last week, sparks and flames shooting from this Boeing 747 Atlas Air cargo plane that took off from Miami. Oh my God, it's on fire. Oh my God. The pilot here was forced to make an emergency landing. Then on Saturday, Delta Airlines Flight 982 was about to take off from Atlanta when a nose wheel came off the Boeing 757 and rolled down a hill. Delta 982, this is the aircraft looking at you. you one of your nose tires just came off. It just rolled off the runway uh, behind you. All of these incidents involve different Boeing models, and luckily no injuries were reported in any of these incidents. In light of the panel incident on the Alaska Airlines flight, investigators believe the panel was not secured with bolts and the NTSB is working to figure out if Boeing is at fault. The Federal Aviation Administration grounded all 171 Boeing 737 MAX 9s and said the planes will be eligible to return to service after thorough inspections. Alaska Airlines released a statement saying some of its MAX 9s would be put back into service starting Friday, but only after rigorous inspections are completed and each aircraft is deemed airworthy according to the FAA requirements. United Airlines' CEO said its MAX 9s are slated to be put back into rotation Sunday. Leaders of the airlines are not holding back their frustration and anger. Thousands of flights have been canceled, leaving passengers scrambling to find alternate routes to their destinations. Alaska Airlines CEO Ben Menicucci said he's angry over the whole ordeal, telling NBC News' Tom Costello. It makes you mad. Tom, it makes you mad that we're finding issues like that on brand new airplanes. The FAA also announced Wednesday that it has decided not to allow production expansion of Boeing's MAX aircraft until quality control issues are resolved. Boeing CEO Dave Calhoun was back on Capitol Hill Thursday and said he supports the FAA's decision.